Dr. Lavallee has advised us that, uh, especially in the First Nations communities in the north, that we have the land at our disposal. And uh, when it comes to social distancing, that's probably one of the the best ways to be able to uh, isolate oneself, to protect yourself, and uh, being able to access uh, your cabins and your trap lines is something that will help you and your family. And I think that will minimize the potential impact of the COVID-19 virus. So Dr. Laval is encouraging all of us to go into uh, the land and the, uh, that time to be out there and uh, come in and out, go back and forth. And also one of the fears that people have is uh, can we ac have access to our, our game, our wildlife, our traditional foods, and is there anything wrong with them? Can they be infected with the coronavirus? And, that, and, and that, that's contrary because those are the foods that sustain us. And I th we encourage everybody, if you have fish, if you have moose meat, if you have caribou, and all of these things that are at our disposal, you, you know, we encourage you to go out and consume them because there's always that worry of uh, food shortage, but there's a lot of people in our communities. And I think some communities have actually started to having their own uh, stores where uh, food can be accessed and uh, and I really commend those communities that do that and I think that we should encourage more of that in a safe way that is uh, uh, safe and, and, and clean and also uh, so that people can have access to our traditional food. So those are the things that are uh, very important for our people to know.